Hi guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. If you're new here, please make sure that you are subscribed and hit that like button. Today we're going to be talking about the metaverse and, and what's going on because it is that latest buzzword that is getting people excited. And for me, I think it's an excellent space that we should all be taking a look at. This video, I'm going to show you three assets that I've invested in myself. If you want to find out more about them, if you go to CoinMarketCap or even the same on CoinGecko, you go to Cryptocurrencies on the front list and then you go to Categories here and you can see a breakdown of all the Metaverse tokens and the same is on CoinGecko. If you go up to Coins um, Categories here, I mean, you can scroll down and see Metaverse assets. They're not all listed in all the places. I mean, like um, Metaverse was... Well, let's talk about the first one. So it's not listed on here in the Metaverse, but... If we go to coin um coin market cap we can see one of my favorite coins let me just roll down to it first and we'll get talking about it it is you might guess this because i've been talking about it for a while meta hero just click on meta hero here the details are exactly correct here and um, i don't believe but we'll talk about a project itself so meta hero which is ticket hero it is basically a huge 3d scanner that takes pictures of assets or um pieces of furniture or people takes pictures of them in less than a second and then it uploads them to a machine and you get basically a 3d image of yourself for example if a gaming company like ea sports are creating fifa and they want to create a football play for that game it takes them roughly around 600 hours to create an actual character that they can use in the game. Meta Hero completely outpaces that and it does it within seconds. It renders a complete image within around 30 minutes and then that is available to, to put into the metaverse or for somebody to own or put on a marketplace or whatever they want to do with that data, they can create it. Meta Hero is not just a scanner, it is the technology behind it. So it is gonna create the largest database in the world of digital assets that can be used on marketplaces within games and within metaverses if we take a look at the website if we just have a look where is it metahero.io you can get an image of the actual machine itself that is the machine it was uh, unveiled at dubai very recently um thousands well not thousands but hundreds of cameras within that sphere and that just take a picture of you in seconds it can do it in 8k or 16k texture if you're looking to get hold of some race, there's quite a few places where you can hold it now. It is listed on Qcoin, but also on Gate.io. PancakeSwap is probably one of the best places to get it. It's currently getting 71% of the entire market volume there, which is equivalent of $23 million. Looking at the overall volume, currently we're getting $33 million, but it is worth noting that has been way above $100 million when the, DM, when the event in Dubai happened. So for me... It is a great asset. And just looking at some um, price analysis, we'll go to, where's my chart? We'll look at this one here. Not a major amount of price action going over the course of the last few days. I was talking in my Patreon group about areas to potentially buy. And before we did start to, well, we was around here and you were expecting to push on, but I did say, just be wary that we could have a retest of this, this previous high here. So that's it at 13.5 cent we have come down to to that region again in that wick but we've bounced back up so far currently sat at 14.3 cent for me if you're looking for buys i would still target this range at 13.5 cent i think that could be a decent area for you to potentially target so and then obviously if you're looking to take a little bit of profit off we've got 17.9 cent uh, and then we're going into some price discovery i mean if <sighs> You could really put a fib on this and have a look at some price predictions and look at some levels above. But in my opinion, I think this is a multi-dollar asset and a multi-billion dollar asset in the future. We've obviously got 52 cent, 46, 35 and 24. Those are areas you could potentially look to skim some profit off. But um, all in all, I honestly think it's going way above the dollar. Uh, and that's this year, maybe even this, well, maybe definitely this cycle, maybe this year. So um, all in all, that is a great project, which I think you should um, at least, at least go and take a look at. So so that's the first project. And if we just jump to, um, what are we in here? Qcoin. So I've got three projects up here. We've got Hero, which is the one I've just talked about. Block is the next project which I've recently invested in. We had a little bit of a shenanigans going on recently. I actually saw, I think Steve in my Telegram, in my um, Discord, told me about it back here. And I didn't really take much interest until it started shooting up. And then I looked into it more and I, I love what this project is doing. 
they did a little bit of a um yeah well we've had a few issues around here didn't we i think the unlocking some early investors took place uh, i think it was supposed to be 20 percent, but it ended up being 50 percent, and we got a huge sell-off but it does seem like we materialized and tried to and we've gained some ground here if we just look at this entire move i think we sat around the um 786 Yes, yeah, so if you look at this re red, um, sorry, this blue line here, this is the 786 of that entire move there. So that is the area we use as support and bounced up. I bought some at 0 0.077, so currently in profit. And if we take a look at their website, we'll go back on to, um, we're to Coin Gecko, where's Coin Gecko? Here it is. We'll go into Block, and I'll just show you the website because I, I love what they're doing. It's basically creating a, a universe and um, actual city within the metaverse. If you look at the website here, Blocktopia dot com, we'll be able to see what's going on. So this is it, Blocktopia, uh, and this is it here. This is the, the what they're trying to build. This is a city, a metaverse, everything within one area. So you can also you can play to earn. You can play games. You can use characters in there. There's going to be a point when you can put NFTs into there. Uh, it is built on Polygon staking involved nfts you can read a light paper up here a hell of a lot going on and i've invested in this project because i really like what's going on the colors on the website are a little bit crazy it's a little bit neon but um, for me this is ace i think uh, a few people come out recently saying they've got some stores already built on there we've got coin telegraph we've got q coin uh, coin market cap of a store in there so um, it is bringing the real life into virtual reality and, in, and it's going to be epic imagine this for example Imagine Meta Hero scanning yourself, then putting that into the metaverse via Blocktopia. I mean, that is, that's mesmerizing and mind blowing, but that is something that we could see in the future. Um, if you just saw there on the screen as well, Binance also um, have their own store in there too. So a lot of things going on, some some big brands down here, and it's a project I'm massively interested in going forward. So that's the second one. Like I say, buy zones I already mentioned. Actually, I didn't mention it. We'll just go back to um, coin. Where is it? There it is. Um, we'll go back to QCoin. If you're looking for some buys, I'd still potentially look down here at 7.4 cents, 7.7. 7. Um, but we've come up and we're kind of hanging around this region here. If you look at this trading area here, we're pretty much within that range now, so um, hopefully we can start to get a nice breakout soon and going back up to target 10 cent, and then I think it will start to to really push on on there because I do think this is the start of a metaverse. I think things are going to start to get very very interesting soon. And then finally, I'm invested in Flame, uh, Lady of Crypto over on Twitter. Um, she highlighted this one to me, and it, it looks a great asset. If you're looking to get into projects in the metaverse which are going to launch then flame offers that it is a launching platform for metaverse assets so this could be the gateway to getting into some ideos if you're if you're really interested in getting into ideos especially metaverse ideos go and check this out i think it's it's got some great potential and these platforms that do launch the native assets also perform very well because people have to actually lock in the native asset, which will be Flame. Um, I think on the Flame, they actually lock them into LP tokens, so that's against USDC. So if you lock Flame up against USDC, you're then available to stake LP tokens and then get your position within that launching platform. So that's something for you to consider too. If you're wanting to get into these IDOs, Go and check Flame out. In terms of price analysis, let's just have a look at this. So what? Yeah, we're gonna we'll use this chart, seeing as we're on QCoin. In terms of Fibonacci levels from the bottom there to the top, uh, we've come down and we've actually done a close to six one eight recovery there. Sorry, six one eight retracement. And if you're looking for buys, I think that is the area there. Possibly around one dollar seventy, one dollar eighty before we end do spin around. Cause we have hit those highs up there around three twenty five steady progress coming down now we are trending down from them highs and it is looking like we're going to tap that golden ratio at around one dollar 77 so that is the area to buy all three of these assets are under a billion dollars in market cap uh, and that just shows that these low caps have huge potential going forward and and for me the meta here the metaverse is going to be something that is um it's going to be used a hell of a lot once things start to get traction and start to get rolling a lot of people are going to be interested in this and it is targeting that gaming sector the gaming sector itself is multi-billions worth of dollars and bringing gaming and crypto together 
I think it's going to be um, one hell of a ride going forward. So that's my thoughts and three products I'm currently holding within the metaverse. And fingers crossed we do get some great gains over the course of the, the next few months going into uh, this next major bull cycle, following that alt cycle. And then we just got general growth for that crypto. So all in all, things are looking good. We have been talking about these assets within my Patreon, and we have got a special section just for Metaverse assets. We've also got a nice section for Polkadot assets too. So if you're if you're looking for a, a Discord community, you'll find the Patreon link in the description of this video. So that's going to do it. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button. I'll catch you next time.